One of my favorite fishing memories with um, Josh is the very first time we went to Green Bay and we just went out there and we had one of the best walleye fishing days we've ever had. It was like every cast was like a giant pre-spawn, like 25 to 27 inch walleye. It was unreal. We start our season in Green Bay just because that's pretty much the first open water. And it's not uncommon that time of year to have a lot of ice floating around. So having to work around that can be kind of challenging, but it's also, it's kind of fun too, because it's, it's, it adds a whole new element. Last week we had some clients in the boat and we were headed back to the boat ramp. It was snowing and blowing and probably like 33 degrees and we were all so cold, but Josh was like, these are for sure walleye and I made one cast out there and I caught the biggest walleye I've ever caught before. We do a lot of different, you know, styles of, uh, or different techniques for fishing. So the uh, walleyes, that's, uh, their spawn is happening, you know, end of March, kind of throughout April. During the daytime, you know, we're, we're doing all casting, um, you know, fairly shallow water, less than, less than 10 feet. Also, you know, some river fishing, because that's where those walleyes are trying to get to, is into the rivers. The, the really big walleyes um, is by doing night trolling. So watching that lighted planer board kind of track and then when it gets hit and just kind of dropping behind the boat, it's, it's pretty exciting. Me and Caitlin, we work very well as a team together out on the water, but we are kind of polar opposites. So the second he puts the boat in the water, he is married to his electronics. You know, staring at my locators and constantly, you know, kind of thinking of the next spot. Josh's eyes are glued on the screen 24 seven. And I'm like, do you see the trees? Do you hear that loon? Can you see the ripple on the water over there? Look at the pattern in that walleye's cheeks. Like, I just am amazed by everything. Honestly, I haven't even really been paying attention this last, I mean enough, because I, I gotta be so zoned in. But somehow we come together and it just, it works out very well and we, we operate very well together. Green Bay is, it's big water, but that means big fish. There is something to be said about being, kind of going back to the roots of what fishing is and being up here um, in the north woods and, and chasing fish. I have been coming here since 1996 with my grandpa. It was exciting for me to bring Caitlin up here, introduce her to it and have her, you know, fall in love with it so much just like I did. I said, this is my favorite place in the world. I said, I like vacationing here more than going to Florida. And as Josh and I got older, We've always just really wanted a place to call our own and it's been a dream of ours for a really long time to be where we are at right now. I think the thing that makes this the most special to me up here is it's like a generational thing. Like my grandpa came up here, you know, in his 30s is when he started coming up here. And then he took his kids up here fishing. And then I started taking Caitlin up here. And that's where we have a lot of our best memories together is up here. My family was here before my time. And now we're gonna pass that on to our kids, me and Caitlin.
Yeah, some guy asked why we were filming. I didn't say anything. Coffee go to dark roast, all black. Grab a couple of those. And then get some fruit snacks. Perfect, two left for me. So first thing I do, put ice in it just a little bit. That way it's cold enough. So, because I'm always in a hurry to get to the lake. So that way I can not really necessarily enjoy the coffee, but just get enough coffee in me to start the day. Right here, the breakfast burger. And we go over here, a little shibani. Has to make sure your hook sets are good. <laughs> Lunch, cranberry bread and rice, and beef and cheese. Got breakfast, lunch, coffee, good to go.